Hello. We have a gift here for you from Shire Sharing. It's a Thanksgiving dinner. Hi. I'm from Shire Sharing. I have Thanksgiving back for you. Thank you. Have a very nice holiday. Shire Sharing is a private charity started in the fall of 2011 by Manchester-based activist Amanda Bolden. I'm Amanda. Uh, Amanda Bolden. Shire Sharing, we're all doing deliveries. Following the success of last year's charity drive, Amanda and crew decided to go bigger this year. Shire Sharing managed to raise about $6,000 through private donations. The increase in donations meant more families could be helped and it also meant that the operation needed to expand to accommodate the load. Names and addresses were provided by Lutheran Social Services, Friends of Forgotten Children, and Catholic Charities. As the number of families expanded, so did the food provided. The bags were packed with an array of dietary considerations. African, Bhutanese, Burmese, diabetic, and traditional Thanksgiving meals were at the variety. Pre-cooked chickens were provided to those not in a position to cook a full-size turkey. The project involved a great deal of logistic support and planning with so many deliveries scheduled. So it took a lot of research to understand all the data we were given. And so Ben Hammer helped a lot with that. For about a week straight, he was helping every night that he could. And then uh, Kate Muller helped us do a lot of the price shopping. She found us canned veggies for 50 cents a can. Um, that went up since last year. I think last year we paid 25 cents a can, but she found us the best deals that we could get. Thursday and Friday required the collection of canned goods and vegetables. Saturday saw a turnout of about 50 volunteers to pack the bags according to the schedule and fill in missing items. Well, well of course, I mean, we've had bajillions of volunteers. Mike Ruff uh, was the, the overlord for organizing all of the, the baskets of food when, when we needed to split up the wholesale piles into individual households, which was a nightmare. On Sunday, the volunteers traveled in a caravan to pick up the remaining perishable supplies, including turkeys, eggs, butter, and cooked chicken. This year, the routes were divided up among many vehicles, with a large portion conveyed by car to their final destination. But as far as deliveries, I think we had more volunteers than we needed to do all the deliveries, um, because I just kind of waved a bunch of route lists in the air um, at the place this morning, and people grabbed them up, and then people were calling me and saying, well, where, where's my route? And, so we had too many people that were so enthusiastic, it was really cool. The remaining volunteers climbed aboard a bus and headed to Concord to deliver food to a few different apartment complexes. I think it's obviously far superior to the charity of the state. Hi, my name is Sabrielle. Yes, the personal element is has proven to be more effective at improving the condition particularly important in chronic conditions, not so much in sudden emergency conditions. Hi, Hi here's your bag. Oh, thank you. Yeah, happy holidays. All right, you also. Thank you very much. I don't believe in government handouts because when they take money from one person and give to another, that's not the way we're supposed to help one another. We're supposed to help one another out of the goodness of our hearts. Hi, my name is Pam Ian, and I'm here delivering food for people. What would you say to uh, the people that are inspired by this and that want to do something of their own? I would say contact your church. I know my church is doing something like this. Um, the schools, the school where I work at, they're they're doing it to help the, the, um, the parents in that particular school district. Well, first of all, come to New Hampshire. Why aren't you here already? <laughs> we believe that the best kind of welfare comes from the heart, comes from individuals. Hi, I'm Mark Warden from Goffstown. This was all money donated by individuals who gave it after tax, you know, that they'd earned with the sweat of their brow. So this is a paragon of the way things can be done and should be done. In all, nearly 200 families received a Thanksgiving dinner that fed roughly 650 people. Shire sharing was once again a success due to the efforts of so many involved.